hi everyone welcome to my channel please subscribe so that you get notified when the video on the use of literary devices in the play the trial of brother Jero is uploaded today we are going to be looking at the characters and the roles that each character play in the play the trial of brother Jero. the video on the plot of the play and also on the teams is already in the channel so you can also search the channel for the video and watch it to have full understanding of the play we are going to be looking about uh, 11 characters in the play and we are going to start with the major character brother jeroboam brother jeroboam is mostly referred to in the play as brother jero he is the main character in the play and also the leader of his self-organized brotherhood of Jero. He is regarded as a prophet in the play, and later we, we discover that uh, he is a false prophet who considered the issue of prophet, who considered the career as a trade. So he regarded the career in the first sim as a trade, and then we saw that uh, he exploited a lot of his uh, members, the congregants in his church. He exploited them, especially the character called Chume, and some other characters like the politician who came to him. So we saw that uh, um, he preaches to the community in hope of attracting more followers. Although claiming to have been born a prophet, he is not even a called called the prophet, as some of them assume or claim, to Jero, he is born a prophet. So, we saw that Jero frequently admits to his act of deception, and above all else, desires to head in high esteem as brother Jero by his congregant and others. And then he has a major problem. One of his major problems is the lust for women. He confesses even to Chume, one of his loyalists, that uh, the issue of women has been a trouble to him and is a great temptation, even when he saw his, a young girl. And also, he regarded himself that he is called, that God showed him or gave him another name, and the name is uh, Articulate Jero, Immaculate Jero, Articulate Hero of Christ's Crusade. When he revealed it to Chume, Chume was so happy that, okay, the prophet has gotten a new name from the son of man. Probably the son of man may be Jesus Christ or any other figure, polit uh, religious figure. So he regarded himself as a immaculate Jero, articulate hero of the Christ crusade. And then he owns a lot of debt, especially to Amokwe, Amokwe, the wife of Chume. And then Amokwe constantly harassed him. And he never wanted Amokwe to be beaten by the husband until he, he thought that uh, beating Amokwe will even help him by not paying the debt. And then he gave the husband go ahead to beat Amokwe. So we saw that uh, he's a very false prophet who operated in the beach. He even claimed that he lives in the beach, but it was a lie. He lives in a house. But he claimed or told his congregant, told the members of his church that he lives in a beach, which he used to deceive them. Another major character in the play is called Chume. Chume yeah, is one of uh, Brother Jero's most loyal and trust assistant. And also Chume is a chief messenger in the local government office. Uh, Chume had a lot of challenges, especially in his marriage. He always had quarrel with his wife, uh, Amokbe, and uh, he even sought for permission from Brother Jero to beat his wife. But Brother Jero never allowed him because he thought that uh, beating his wife uh, may cause a problem for him, probably for his church. But when he realizes that uh, it was um, the wife of Chume is Amokbe who uh, Brother Jero owned money because Brother Jero bought a velvet cap from him. He then granted Chume the permission to beat his wife. And then when he came out from the beach, when he came from down from the beach, he saw Brother Jero and uh, he, uh, he saw uh, Brother Chume and his wife fighting because he has granted uh, permission to Chume to beat his wife. And uh, towards the end of the play in, in at 
five in at five, we saw that Tumi also realized that uh, Brother Jero is a poor, false prophet, and uh, Brother Jero did not live in the beach as he claimed, because he discovered that the Brother Jero was always and then living in the neighborhood. So he decided to also vent his anger on Brother Jero, trying to kill him. So in at five, he also went to the stage, then left. Rajero came with a politician who wanted to become the minister of war and also we saw that Chimi returned with a sword and followed by his uh, wife Amokwe. Both of them have realized that uh, Prophet Jero is setting them against each other and they were chasing uh, Prophet Jero at, uh, 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 at the beach. Then Prophet Jero ran away and when Prophet Jero returned, the politician told that Prophet Jero disappeared and reappeared. So he saw that uh, many people are ignorant of his uh, tricks, Brother Jero, and then he uses that to also exploit Chume. So Chume is genuine, and Chume is poor. Even in fact, the wife of Chume, Amokwe, even wanted him to be working as a local inspector, so that uh, local inspector for refuse, so that he can be able to get bribe and then buy motorcycle instead of using bicycle always and being a chief messenger in the local government uh, office. But we can say Chume is a lawyer, a trusted person. He never even wanted to beat his wife when he realizes that uh, it was deception all this while that uh, Brother Jero was leading him. Another major character is Amokbe. Amokbe is Chume's wife who is unhappy and is self-righteous, constantly arguing with Amokbe and uh, arguing with his wife and others. In fact, Amokwe is a very uh, troublesome woman. He quarreled with a lot of a lot of the characters in the play. He quarreled with the husband, Chume. He quarreled with uh, a fish seller, a trader, who was uh, selling fish. Then in pricing the fish, it causes a, a challenge because the price, he, uh, the price he gave was so annoying to the trader and then from there they started quarreling and causing each other and then he quarreled constantly with the brother jero because brother jero has refused to pay his money pay her money rather has refused to pay her money for the red velvet cap which uh, brother jero bought on credit from her so we saw that she's a hard-working woman but never respected her husband because the husband was working in fact he hated the husband for not having a successful career because the husband never listened to her also because he wanted the husband to become a refuse inspector of refuse a local inspector of refuse instead of working as a chief messenger with no much salary or nothing to take home he only riding bicycle always instead of him call he knows amokwe knows that even the money that the husband will earn from working as a local inspector will not get him a motorcycle but he believed that okay he will collect bribe from people who did not dispose their waste well and then through that bribe he can be able to buy a motorcycle so we saw that amokwe too is a, a very nagging woman and he's self-righteous he hated in fact amokwe was the only one that noticed that brother jero is a false prophet until Chume also realized later towards the end of the play. Then another character is uh, Old Prophet. The Old Prophet is the owner of the land in the beach where Prophet Jero is operating. The Old Prophet was the one who trained Brother Jero, but Brother Jero chased him away and took over his land, his portion. Because the beach was divided for all the Prophet. It was not only Brother Jero. There are other prophets there operating in the beach, deceiving and exploiting uh, 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 people, exploiting a lot of people. So we saw that the old prophet appear and began to curse Brother Jero for chasing him out of his land and also for being ungrateful when he trained him. And then we saw another one, the trader. The trader appears in scene two and he was the one that was selling smoked fish that uh, Amokwe prized. And then the price that Amokwe gave was too low that the, tra the, tra the trader got angry and told Amokwe not to bring bad luck for her. Early money. So Amokwe started cursing her and then she also cursed Amokwe. And then there was a lot of uh, quarrel between them. Another one is the drummer boy. The drummer boy is seen as a very dirty boy uh especially by amokwe in scene two and then he he was pursued 
tried to be beaten by an angry woman. The woman accused the drummer boy that the drummer boy was using the drum to insult her father. In the Yoruba traditional society, somebody can use a drum, but the beating of the drum can be used to, or to, to insult or to praise somebody. And then the woman perceived that the beating of the drum was used to insult her father, and then she began to chase the boy. And we saw that the brother Jero now left the stage where he was preaching and began to try to say to the woman and the drummer boy. During that moment, he told the uh, brother Chume to took over and then be continue with the preaching until he returned. So he returned very exhausted, very tired. So the brother, the drummer boy also, I can say, is quarrelsome by trying to insult somebody through uh, the talking drum. Also, we saw a member of the parliament also was one of the characters in the play. The member of the parliament, I can say, is a coward person because he held the position in the federal house of assembly, but wanted to become the minister of war. And he came for prayer. He, he was in the beach rehearsing speech. And from there, uh, Brother Jero got uh, interacted with him and they made him one of his members. He even discarded uh, Brother Jero at the beginning, not wanting to have anything to do with Brother Jero. But later, when Brother Jero prophesied to him that he's going to become the minister of war in the future, and that was also his desire, he now began to be one of the, uh, the congregants in Brother Jero's church. And Brother Jero also deceives him. In fact, he believed that Brother Jero is a good, real prophet of God because he disappears and reappears. But rather, what happened when the parliament member was closing his eye was that uh, uh, Chume was chasing Brother Jero and then Brother Jero left the stage. So when he opened his eye, he did not see anybody. And later, Brother Jero returned and he told that Brother Jero disappeared and reappeared. So he's also ignorant and uh, he was under the spell of Brother Jero and was used, exploited. In fact, Brother Jero used his influence, influence of the member of the parliament to take brother Chume to the asylum hospital. Because he, be, he, he claimed that uh, brother Chume have uh, a mental uh, problem, mental challenges and should be taken to asylum. And then uh, he used the influence of the member of the parliament to effect that in order to silence brother Chume. Another one is the worshippers. The worshippers are the congregants in the church of uh, brother Jero. They worship and praise, they, they praise him even more than they praise God. So, and he continued lying to them, told them that God appeared to him and gave him another name, and the name he gave him is Immaculate Jero. And another name that was given to him by the Son of Man is uh, the hero of Christ's crusade. Articulate hero of Christ's crusade. <laughs> so we will see how he deceived his uh, the worshippers in his church. Then another one is the penitent. The penitent is uh, a one of the women looking for the fruit of the womb. If the woman could not give birth, and then he came to Brother Jero for prayer so that she can be able to have a child. And Brother Jero prayed for her, prophesied for her, prophesied to her, and then told her that he's going to give birth. And also, just like as he exploited others, he also exploited the woman as well. Then we have other characters. These characters are mostly minor characters. You have the angry woman. The angry woman was the one chasing the drummer boy then, that uh, the drummer boy used the drum to insult her father. And then we have a young girl. This young girl created a lot of headache for Brother Jero, though he never intentionally seduced Brother Jero, but Brother Jero thought that the, the, the beauty of the young girl was attracting him. And then he felt that uh, he's about to fall to the, to the, to the sin, to, to sexual sin. And then the young, he always told Brother Chumi also about his problem. So the young girl served as a, a source of temptation or a figure that tempted Brother Jero. But Brother Jero was uh, acting out of his own loss because the young girl never intended to tempt uh, him. Another one is the town council. Because the town council was the one that divided the beach for the prophet. Because many prophets were, were grabbing land and fighting over space in the beach. So the town council came, regulated the apportioning of the, the land in the beach, and then 
they assign it to different prophets. Note that they did not assign any land to Brother Jero. The, the land was assigned to the old prophet, which trained Brother Jero, and then Brother Jero chased him out of the land and then established his own church. And we saw that uh, the cause of the old man was working in the life of Brother Jero. Because in the play, the play was just a day in the life of Brother Jero. Then another character is the crowd. The crowd were the one that uh, looking came to look or to spectate where Chumi was beating his wife. No, Chumi beat his house several times. And then when they were fighting, the crowd began to gather. Some of them were trying to caution them. Some of them were trying to separate them. And some of them were just looking and enjoying the, 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 the fight between the husband and wife. So we saw that uh, the play is a very good play. These are the major and minor characters in the play. And I want you to subscribe to the channel so that uh, in the, subs the subsequent video that will be uploaded, you will get notified and then you will learn more about uh, this play and other plays and poems and prose that will be analyzed and uploaded in the subsequent uh, time. Thank you and have a good day. All right.